In this video we're going to be taking a look at the useful Internet Explorer tweaking and repair tool which is a freeware tool. You can actually get it from ietips.net and uh, it's uh, for Internet Explorer only as you can see and it does be, and it's been tested for Internet Explorer 7 and 8 so I don't know whether it will work with older versions uh, of Internet Explorer but it's a very useful tool. It's got over 90 plus tweaks and repairs built into this little utility which is going to be very useful if you do like using Internet Explorer. There is still a lot of people out there that like to use Internet Explorer and why not if you like that. So there we've got a download Internet Explorer 8 uh, button on there and also we've got a restore to defaults and an add-ons uh, button as well you can actually click on. So let's have a little look there. As I said, you can get the application for free. It's freeware in ietips.net. So let's have a look at the browsing options. As you can see, we can turn off uh, smooth scrolling and uh, turn off clear type and so on and so on. As you can see, there's just read these and that put the ticks in. It's as simple as that and apply. If you want to reset, you just click on the reset tab there. We've got a clear junks file, which is built into Internet Explorer anyway, but this is all in one place. So you can actually use the tweak uh, interface here and actually use the clear temper in files cookies history and so on just by putting the ticks in there and apply okay so we've also got the uh, tweak into the Explorer this is the tweak part where we can actually tweak into the Explorer and as you can see we've got uh, turn on menu bar by default uh, turn off favorites bar and uh, as you can see just read through these uh, turn on suggested sites and so on and so on okay let's go up to browser menus you can do a lot of uh, turning on and disabling of uh, functions in Internet Explorer disable save as uh, I know some of them you're going to probably think why would I want to do that but uh, hey it's built into this and you can either use it or not use it it's entirely up to you so we've got the toolbars part here turn off uh, developers tools uh, hide the command bar uh, hide the status bar and so on okay so let's have a look at the control panel as you can see we've got a lot of uh, useful things here uh, connections tab hide that uh, content tab if you wish to do so okay so have a look at the advanced tab here and their basic settings turn off uh, compatibility view button uh, turn off it uh, accelerators and so on okay and we need to do there as I said is put the ticks in and just push apply Okay, so let's have a little look at the restrictions uh, tab. If you look at the restrictions part, you can restrict a lot of stuff here as well. Also, uh, turn off uh, uh, tabbed browsing, uh, turn off autocomplete feature in web addresses if you wanted to do that. You've also got disable the reset uh, button. Why you'd want to do that, I don't know, but you've got disable autocomplete for forms. If that's what floats your boat, you just put the tick in there and click on apply. OK, so have a look at the settings part here. Restrict. There's a lot of these are all the restrict parts that you can restrict whatever you want to do. Connection settings, color settings, uh, certificate settings and so on and so on. OK, so you just put your ticks in there and apply. So let's have a little look at the uh, security side of things. Uh, prevent bypassing smart screen filter warning. And you've got uh, a few other bits here. Turn off uh, delete browsing history function. So if you wanted to do that and you've also got a little few drop down menus here that you can play around with uh, to tweak to your liking okay so have a look at the repair side of things as you can see this is the where we do our repairs it's got Internet Explorer may freeze while loading the page you can click on this and it will fix that problem hopefully and uh, you've got a few other bits here get uh, get back do you want to open up or save the file fix that if there's a problem there also a very useful one here re-registers all the concerned DLL and OCX files that's a very useful one okay you've seen me talk about that in previous videos about little tools that you can use and this is built into this application so that's very very useful okay fix and fix annoying Internet Explorer run once problem and a few other bits and pieces let's go to the about tab there now and as you can see this is the person author of the uh, program itself and then you've got the publisher which is ietips.net and a feedback and support where you want to put your feedback and support on there if you've got a problem with an application don't ask me for questions or, or answers come to their site here and actually post it to them and they will be able to answer your questions a lot more better as I said over 90 power tools built into this little application very very useful okay so I hope you enjoyed these videos my name is Brian from brightech.co.uk 
hope you've had a lovely Christmas over the holidays and I hope you have a happy new year thanks very much for watching guys bye for now